The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey, what is up, YouTube fam? It's Dupree, aka Darth Hater, here with some brand new content and a brand new Star Wars game trailer reaction. So, if you guys remember, there was a bounty, uh, smuggler's bounty, whatever it is, the thing for uh, the Book of Boba Fett that they're kind of like teasing, like all like the drops of things up and coming up until the show drops, like toys, all sort of stuff. I remember seeing one about a video game and I was literally the other day talking smack with my friend about like, yeah man, looks film talking about they're gonna drop a game but they really haven't done anything. The day of, they just dropped this trailer and we gotta react to it and I need to shut up now. But anyway, before we do that, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and check out my last video because that greatly helps out my channel. Anyway. Trying to hurry up and do this on my way to ugly sweater party, as you guys can see. So, do this really quick. Uh, see what this game is about. I can't tell if those lightsabers are dr yep drums. <laughs> Lucasfilm Games. Mr. Lucas Arts logo. Hey, Radis. Well, it looks like Radis. Got a Duros. Yoda! <laughs> yeah. Uh, do some scare. Oh. Almost naked 3PO. Hey, Federation. Okay. <laughs> one more time, cause one more time. Okay, one more, one more time. All right. That was trippy.
I know what world that is. Looks like Radis, but it's not him. Oh! Ah! Uh, that might be the planet from Yoda. Oh. I think that's the planet for Rogue One. Um. Got the Jedi training. Those lightsabers look so cool. Trade Federation, them episode one vibes. Let's try spinning, that's a good trip. <laughs> new aliens look so weirdly interesting. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Finally! Finally, Lucasfilm, y'all. Or should I say Lucas Games? Y'all gave us something that. I don't know what the hell, but I can't wait for it. <laughs> so from the little bit of like snippet that I read about this before uh, watching this, this is set in the Old Republic, not Old Republic, uh, High Republic, um, you know, all the books and comic books, you know, I don't know if you guys have been reading High Republic. I bought a few of the books and I couldn't really get through a lot. I just it didn't really just interest me because I felt like if you're going to introduce a new timeline in Star Wars, it should either start with a flagship movie, maybe a TV show, and then the books and comic books and everything, not the books first, you know, and then everything else. I felt like maybe if they had started with this game and then gone with the books, then maybe it would have like hit a little harder, there would have been a little bit more interest. But whatever, um, I know games, Star Wars games have been like in a weird flux within the past few years, especially with all the Battlefront stuff, mishaps, the open world game that was supposed to, the other open world game we we're supposed to get. Um, there were a lot of hiccups and now we finally have something to look forward to aside from, you know, Jedi Fallen Order, which was an amazing, like amazing game semi reminiscent of like a lot of stuff i'm glad like there's tidbits of stuff we know you know you got we got yoda sitting in the jedi up uh, standing in the jedi council which i'm yes yoda you got uh, um uh the monks from that one plant I, why am i brain farting the name of the plant jedi you got the monks from Jedi with the red, wearing the you know the weird mask and holding the, the skiff. And you got a uh, Mon Cala looking like freaking Radis. I don't know if that's Admiral Radis, but it looks exactly like Radis. The only thing about Admiral Radis is uh, his eyes are kind of like weirdly cocked. Uh, if you guys don't know who Admiral Radis is, he's the Mon Cala alien who was at the end of Rogue One, or yeah, he was in Rogue One. Anyway. Um, you got the Nemoidian dude. I don't know if that's if that's Newt Gunray or Rune, what's his name, Runa Hako, like the two leads who run the the um, Trade Federation. I don't know if it's them. You know, just a long time ago. But you got the Nemoidians. You got the Trade Federation. You had the Trade Federation starship at the end. 
the whole battle around there is very reminiscent to the battle of naboo which looked really really cool um so you know a little bit of uh prequel stuff for us pre for the prequel heads for us prequel heads and then mix with them with the new with those new ships it looked very cool honestly you could swap those ships out for n1 starfighters and it would have just i would have been happy put anakin skywalker in there like let's try spinning that's a good trick you know and then the guys drumming those weird aliens drumming and everything um kind of weirdly brought vibes of jedi fallen order um the alien designs in there kind of feel very reminiscent and then just with the music vibe because they put like the, the weird um throat humming or whatever it's called doing singing throat singing uh, with that korean band um in the other game and it kind of sounds like that in this with the start of it but you know i guess two different things i'm very intrigued with, like who those guys were drumming and who were they were like sort of summoning out of the ooze that dude like it, i swear if he had like little pointy horns on his head i'd have been like maul <laughs> is that dark maul like what the hell the droid in there, I could have sworn that was C-3PO. I could have sworn that was naked C-3PO from episode one. Uh, but early, but obviously it's different. It's a different version of, the, of that protocol droid model. So not C-3PO, another droid. Obviously they're paying homage to the prequels hard in this one. Like I said, you got naked C-3PO like dude. You got the trade federation with the Nemoidians. Um, You know, you got Yoda. And the Jedi Council, which is all you need is Mace Windu standing right there next to him. Ah, uh, man, uh, this is so much to think about from this trailer, man. Uh, then you got the Jedi sparring, which was really cool. Um, they looked awesome, so Jedi in the High Republic area era. And then you got two Jedi lighting, igniting their lightsabers. You know, going against an army of who knows what, who knows who. It might be those weird plant guys that are from the High Republic. Like I said, I, I haven't read any of those books, but I know enough about kind of what goes on because it was a big, huge multimedia campaign and they kind of just overtly threw it at us. So it might be something like that. I don't know. Or it might be the weird pirates they were talking about. Like I said, I don't know. I need to go back and read those books. I have them sitting on my shelves. I just have not, you know, had the time or even like the kind of need to want to kind of motivation to kind of crack them open, but maybe, maybe. Another thought, this might actually tie into the Acolyte. Uh, if you guys know, know, Lucasfilm is coming out with a new Star Wars show called Star Wars Acolyte, which is supposed to take place before, um, the Phantom Menace and possibly in the High Republic era. And that's supposed to be a female led show, like the main person that they're casting for that is like a female of color. So I I don't know, maybe this might tie into that. That would be kind of cool. Like I said, when you're trying to just start out a new era in Star Wars, it's it helps if it's with a show. L little weird backwards, like books and then game and then show possibly movie later down the line but whatever they're, they're building they're building i wonder if this is like the open world game that they promised us maybe just a little repurposed for whatever uh they're gonna give us here um like i said only time will tell this isn't actually a gameplay trailer it's just you know um cinematic reveal obviously kind of very reminiscent to the old republic um, game trailers that we got years ago. You guys remember what Malgus and his master, you know, it's a teal and like everybody. If you guys remember all those, very remember. Not as cool as those, but very reminiscent. So I think, um, you know, building. Who knows what this game is, 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 is going to be about. I'm going to have to do more digging and more homework on this when more info comes out. But best believe we're getting this game and we're going to do a full playthrough and everything. By the way, I still owe you guys a full playthrough of Jedi Fallen Order because I played that game like once and I'm itching to play it again and um, do some more customizations with lightsabers, clothes, all that good stuff. Find up all. I'm the person who plays a game all the way through to find everything. I need all the secrets, all the hidden gems, all the things. I'm, 
that's me. I'm a weird completist like that. OCD. You know, whatever. But anyway, oh, you guys that. And then, best believe, we're going to be doing the same thing with this eventually when it comes out. Whatever platform it is, we're getting it, we're doing it, we're streaming it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys thought about this trailer. Let me know what you thought about my reaction. Let me know if you guys have high hopes for this game, low hopes. Are you kind of just over, you know, um, Lucas Games and stuff like that? Just after Battlefront and everything? Or do you hold hope because of Jedi Fallen Order? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you didn't like this video, hit that like button. And also, if you could be so kind as to hit that subscribe button and also the bell to get notifications for all my latest videos, that would be great. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next one. May the force be with you. Bye.